Okay, it has to be said, we want to give our chickens aviary advantage. Right now it's about 26 degrees. We're still in fall. Later today it's supposed to get up to 53. It does feel cold. I've got some frozen waters to take care of right now. I'm gonna keep the goats locked up for the time being this morning. I need to get more feed, hay, and some goat pellets. So it's just easier to drive in and out of here without the goats wanting to get out through the gate or get into the trailer that we're keeping the feed in right now. Uh, I'll let them out a little later this morning. The animals really do well in the cold. I just have to make sure that they have water that they can actually drink that isn't frozen. Staying warm down there. Some projects around here are progressing nicely. Others have stalled a little bit. I'm happy with how the doe enclosure fencing is going. I've got almost all of the T-posts set already. We haven't made any more progress on cleaning up the garden yet. But, I have piled more material up here to burn. I've explained this before. This was going to be our fall garden but we didn't use it this year. Ash and charcoal should be a good amendment for the soil. It's super high in carbon, so it'll just suck up all of the nitrogen that's available and not leave much for the plants, but 
Once it's done doing that, then it's really good soil. And we're hoping that if we can get the chickens back out here before we have to use this space for next year's fall garden, then the chicken manure will be an excellent nitrogen source to balance all that out. Plus, it's just a good way to get rid of some of this brush and shrubs and brambles that we've got out here. Plenty of that to take care of.
Hampton, the heated chicken waterer. We'll see what it does tomorrow when the temperatures drop back down in the morning. It's warming up pretty nice this afternoon. Wendy and I are actually working on a project together up by the goat barn. I'll show you that in a little bit. I'm not shooting any video of it because Wendy doesn't really want to be on video right now, so you'll just have to see what it looks like when we're done. We are building some temporary separation pins so we can breed our goats and keep them separate so just the ones that we want to breed with each other are together. This design is Wendy's idea, and I think it's a pretty good one. Everything's just uh, T-posts, cattle panels, and this one here is shorter. This one's a little bit shorter than the others. It will slide open so the goats can come in and out when we want them to. We've got posts for it to slide between. Not quite done yet. There'll be another one over here. It did not get below freezing last night, so we're gonna have to wait and see how that heated chicken waterer holds up to the cold. Tomorrow happens to be Thanksgiving. It's supposed to be a lot colder as well, so we'll see how it does. Windbreakers for the chickens. I ended up exchanging some of those shorter gray gasket screws for some longer green ones just so it could grab into the wood a little bit more. Just the way the plastic was kind of sitting against the hardware cloth, I didn't want to squeeze it all the way up to the 2x4s because that would crimp and uh, make the plastic just a little bit more fragile, I think. It's been a few days. Thanksgiving did not get cold enough to freeze. We've got a good test this morning. The pond is even partially frozen over. Unheated waterer is frozen. The 
heated water is not. Success. Okay, it has to be said, we want to give our chickens Avery advantage. Thanks for watching. Remember, your dreams are closer than the moon. Thanks for taking this trip around the moon with us.